once we have an understanding for the electric field at a point, it's important to understand the idea of the net electric field at a point. So a common question would look something like this, where you're given two charges and some point either in between them or on one side of those charges and asked to calculate the net electric field at that point. And just like we would calculate the net force, all that we need to do here is see that the net electric field is just going to be the sum of the electric fields at that point. So what we can see here is there are two electric fields that are experienced at this point. The first being the electric field as a result of this first charge, let's call it charge A and this called charge B. And as we can see, if we were to place a positive charge at this point, we would see that the electric field as a result of charge A would be towards the left. And very clearly we can see here that the electric field as a result of charge B would be towards the right. So we can immediately write down our expression for the net electric field by saying our net electric field at point P is going to be equal to the electric field as a result of B minus the electric field as a result of A. Once again, we must subtract them because they are vectors acting in opposite directions. From here, we simply calculate the electric field as a result of each of these two charges. So the electric field as a result of A at point Q is equal to KQA over R squared, since A is creating the electric field. That is our constant 9 times 10 to the 9 multiplied by 7 microcoulombs, which we know is 10 to the negative 6 over the distance between them squared, that is 35 millimeters, 35 times 10 to the negative 3 squared, which gives us an electric field as a result of A of 5.14 times 10 to the 7, measured in newtons per coulomb. And what we can see is that is towards A. The electric field is the direction that a positive charge would move if placed at that point, and here that is towards A. We can then do the same for charge B and calculate the electric field as a result of B, which is now KQB over R squared. K, once again, our constant. The charge on B given as 3 microcoulombs, micro being 10 to the minus 6, and the distance here given as 18 millimeters, 18 times 10 to the negative 3 squared, which means that our electric field as a result of B would then be 8.33 times 10 to the negative 7, once again measured in newtons per coulomb, and a positive charge here would experience a force towards B. So we can now clearly see why we have subtracted these, because the forces are in opposite directions, so the electric fields are in opposite direction, and we can now calculate our net electric field as 8.33 times 10 to the 7, apologies, that is times 10 to the 7, 8.33 times 10 to the 7 minus 5.14 times 10 to the 7, which gives us a net electric field of 3.19 times 10 to the 7 newtons per coulomb. And as we can see, this is towards the right or more accurately towards charge B. So once again, your free body diagram, very important here where you're identifying the direction of each electric field so you can very easily write an expression for your net electric field.